I'm seeing a lot of talk about Ireland, um, whether I should be welcomed in Ireland, things like this, yeah? Let me just express my opinion on this. If I was going to Ireland. Now, what's happening in Ireland with the influx of refugees, the invasion is exactly the same as what's happening here in, in England, in our country. The difference is it's happened overnight there. They haven't had chip, a chip, 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 where they've chipped away. Yeah? So when women are getting raped in this country and groomed, it's not a shock to anyone. Whereas in Ireland, all these newcomers into their country, the new Irish that they're importing in, or the new so-called Irish that they're importing in, the hotels that are full of Middle Eastern men, Somalis, Eritreans, Syrians, apparently all these different countries, then they're attacking the women. Of course, part and parcel of importing them in. We know that because we've lived with it. The Irish are rising up. There is a big resistance there. I've been looking at Ireland, thinking it's important, because I see Ireland as possibly inspiring the rest of Europe. I see the Irish people inspiring the rest of Europe. Because I know they're not going to take it. Yeah, I know that. For anyone in Ireland, yes, I'm English. Okay, I'm born in England. My mother's Irish, which makes me half Irish. But my mum's Irish, but I wasn't brought up with an Irish father. So... I'm born in England, I'm English, um, I have a lot of family in Ireland, I have a lot of family in Dublin, I have a lot of family all over. Um, I'm a journalist, okay? If anyone's ever going to give a fair, a fair appraisal of what's happening there, it would be me. That's it. Yeah? All the media, are you chasing out the media that comes to reporting your demonstrations? Are you talking to the journalists still? Are you entertaining them? Are they allowed to come to your demonstrations and report on them? Are they? Because they're there to do hatchet jobs on you, nothing else, okay? I'm fully aware of the reason why women are forming, uh, forming on the streets and coming out. I'm aware of their fears, of everything that's about to happen to all of you, the leaders of these movements, it's already happened to me. We've seen it all, we've gone through it all. From the silencing, to the imprisonments, to the false charges, to the control orders, to the injunctions, I've been through every single bit of it. So I know what they're going to do. Yeah? And I've seen some people say, I've seen comments saying, yeah, Tommy Robinson's a Marxist. It's like, what are you all about? Tommy Robinson's funded by Israel. Says who? Says who? They've received a penny from Israel. Right? Says who? It's the same people that are calling you all far right. So you choose to believe certain things. I find it absolutely unbelievable. Yeah? So my job as a journalist is to report and follow the stories. I've followed the stories on grooming gangs. I've to get, give the girls a voice. I've followed the stories of, on corruption from Hope Not Hate and NGO organisations, who are the exact organisations that are going after all you patriots and nationalists in Ireland. So that's my job is to report. I wouldn't ever be intended on taking over demonstrations or even participating in demonstrations. Just to report on what is happening, because it's important that not just to, for you in Ireland, it's important for the rest of the world to look at Ireland. There's, what, 60 million passport holders with, uh, of Irish passport holders? They're all going to have a major concern with what's happening in their country, including my mum, including her family, OK? So I just find it remarkable that people who are worried about being cancelled or have been cancelled also want to cancel others. So, yeah. Anyway, that's my thoughts on Ireland. So I think the world sh should be watching Ireland. I think it's an important story. The, what I've found in my research into what's happening there, the numbers that are being brought there, the crimes they're committing, um, the demographical shift that's going to happen in that country if it continues and is allowed to continue. You see, once they're settled, they ain't leaving. OK, so the resistance and the fight back is needed right now, massively in your country. But anyway, just some thoughts on, from that. I'm just reading lots and I thought I'd give my opinion on it. My opinion is... I know I'm in a position to, I know that people trust my journalism and I know that I'd, if you're voiceless or you're under attack or you're being called far right, people are like, yeah, we'll get called far right even more, even racist even more. What if a journalist comes and reports? It'll be a fair report for what you're standing for. And it will also examine the lies being told about all of you by mainstream journalists, by media, by government, by a lot of them. Anyway, keep fighting.